this thing's called maps. Has anyone still got a road out that's a great break? I've got one I can't find room for in the car. Now, of course, we're all on to uh, things like Google Maps and sat and things like that. So I thought I'd read you a little poem tonight, which has been composed in the style of Pan Airs, which means I've got to just change the language to West Country <laughs> and uh, start. I have a little sat nav. It sits there in my car. A sat nav is a driver's friend. It tells you where you are. I have a little sat nav. I've had it all my life. It's better than the normal ones. My sat nav is my wife. <laughs> it gives me full instructions, especially how to drive. It's 60 miles an hour, she says. We're doing 65. It tells me when to stop and start and when to use the brake and tells me that it's never ever safe to overtake. It tells me when a light is red and when it goes to green. It seems to know instinctively just when to intervene. It lists the vehicles in the front and all those to the rear and taking this into account it specifies my gear. I'm sure no other driver has so helpful a device, for when we leave and lock the car, it still gives its advice. <laughs> it fills me up with counselling, each journey is pretty fraught. So why don't I exchange it and get a quieter sort? Ah, well, you see, it cleans the house, makes sure I'm properly fed. It washes all my shirts and things, and keeps me warm in bed. Despite all these advantages and my tendency to scoff, I only wish that now and then I could turn the darn thing off. <laughs> <laughs>